everyone, Melissa here, and welcome to your Melissa Moment. Hello everyone, I'm Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa Moment, and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. You can see I've got some decorating that's happened here in my house behind me. Um, this is a update on my strength training today. Uh, I've got numbers, so this is just kind of a talking video. Um, and I've got a lot of reflection in my glasses, so sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure. It's just one of those things. Anyway, oh, by the way, I got my eyelashes done. What do you think of that, hey? I got those done um, for a little trip I'm going on to Mexico. Um, anyway, back to Wellness Wednesday. Um, this is going to be fairly quick because I have a lot of stuff to do before I go to Mexico. I'm leaving tomorrow. Well, by the time you see this, I would have probably already gone and come back. But anyway, um, quick video. Let's do it. For those of you who are new, hi, welcome. Uh, I have been doing strength training or weightlifting for over a year now. I like to take my weight and measurements uh, at the beginning of each session and at the end of each session. Typically, a session is about 12 weeks or three months long, typically. Um, so this is going to be the fall program, uh, which I started on September 6th. Okay, um, it's supposed to be a 12 week program, but because I'm headed to Mexico for a week, it's really 11 weeks for me. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do a quick number, like tell you the numbers of when I started, then I'm gonna give you the numbers of what I am now, and then I'll tell you how much I gained or lost overall. Um, so I'm gonna run through it fairly quick. I do a lot of measurements because I just like to really get a good idea of what's happening with my body because the scale for me isn't always a good reflection, but I tend to lose more inches. So um, I like to measure my neck. When I started, that was 11 and a half inches. You know, I'm just gonna give them to you as we go, okay? So when I started, it was 11 and a half inches. 11 weeks later, um, it's 11.25 inches. So I lost a quarter inch off of my neck. I know that's a weird place to lose weight. I know, it's weird. Um, my upper chest, so that's like right under my armpits, straight across. Uh, that, when I started, was 35 and a quarter inches, and um, it stayed the same, okay? That's the other thing. I don't always lose inches everywhere, every time, and sometimes I even gain inches. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the next part I do is my chest. So that's literally right around the biggest part of my chest. When I started September 6th, it was 40 inches. Today, it's 39 and a half. So I've lost half an inch around my chest. Under chest. So this is literally, if you're female, right under your boobs. So where your bra strap um, is underneath by your rib cage, that's the measurement I do. Uh, when I started, it was 32. And today, 11 weeks later, it's 33 and a half. So it went up an inch and a half. Now there's a couple things that could have happened here. Number one, when I took the starting measurements, I may have taken it wrong or wrote it down wrong. Number two, it is possible that I've gotten wider. Now that doesn't necessarily mean I've put on weight. It could just be that I'm getting more muscular in that area and I'm getting a bit bigger. That's possible. Um, but yeah, that went up quite a bit. I, I, I measured it like three times. So I'm not sure why. It'll be interesting to see what that measurement is after the next training session. Uh, my waist, so right around where my belly button is. When I started, it was 37 inches. Today, it is 37 inches. So it didn't change at all. 
um, my hips. Okay, so the widest part of my hips started, it was 42 inches. Today, 11 weeks later, 41.75 inches. So I did lose a quarter of an inch off my hips. Um, then we go into my calves, right calf, left calf. When I started, they were 15 inches each. Um, today, 11 weeks later, 14 and a half inches each. So I lost half an inch off of each calf. My bicep. This measurement is always the hardest for me and there's starting it's starting to get hard to measure a few other places in my body as well because I'm dealing with excess skin okay it should not be there but it is so it's hard to get a good measurement an accurate measurement let me show you okay this is very embarrassing and horrible but I also look at it as wow look how far I've come so let's look at my arms okay Let's look at these arms. There is a lot of wibble, wibble wobble there. There's a lot. This is all extra skin, okay? Like, it's, it's so much. You can actually see the line of where my arm should be, and then everything below that line is extra. So when I'm taking my measurements, I have all this that's in the way it's really hard to get an accurate measurement. So I do two measurements. I do a loose measurement where I just kind of have the measuring tape around the all the excess skin and then do what I call a tight measurement where I like tighten it up as far as I can go to get a tight measurement, okay? One day, hopefully, hopefully one day, the skin will be gone It'll be a lot easier to not only take measurements, but also to exercise and work out and all of that. Um, let's talk about the right arm, the right bicep. When I started, the loose measurement was 14. And when I ended, it was 13 and a half. So I lost half an inch off the loose. But if I do the tight measurement, uh, the tight measurement was 12 and a half inches and when I ended it was 12 inches so again half an inch so I think that's probably correct I lost half an inch off of my right bicep left bicep I think was the exact same let me just check uh, no it was not it was weird left bicep when I started loose it was 14 Today it was also 14. Tight was 12 and a half, and today it was 12. So I lost half off of there. So I'm going to say that's probably accurate. So half an inch off of both biceps. Um, then I do my thighs, okay? The biggest part of my thigh. Right thigh and left thigh, when we started, was 23 inches. Today they were both 22 and a half. So again, I lost half an inch off of both both thighs. That's a lot of numbers I threw at you. Let me do the math, okay? Let me do the math for you. Um, overall, let's talk overall. Inches overall. So in the 11 weeks, I lost two and a half inches overall, over everything, two and a half inches. That doesn't sound like much. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it's about that much. That's pretty good for 11, 11 weeks. What's even better is how many inches I've lost since I started a year ago. Okay? So I may have only lost two and a half inches in the 11 weeks, but when I started, my overall inches lost is 48 and three quarter inches lost over my entire body. That's really close to 50 inches. That's crazy. So I'm pretty happy with that number. Um, as far as the weight goes, when I started, um, 
11 weeks ago, I weighed 191.6, and today I was 188. So I lost 3.6 pounds in 11 weeks. Now again, doesn't sound like much, you guys. I get it. I get it doesn't sound like much, but overall, I've lost 35.2 pounds since I started strength training. So when you add 35.2 pounds and 48.75 inches overall, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty happy with that. Don't get me wrong. I have a little ways to go. I'm getting there. I'm not giving up. I'm putting in my time. And eventually, it's just going to keep getting better and better. Yeah, there's going to be setbacks. Yeah, the numbers may not constantly go down. Remember, I've said this before. This is not a linear thing. This, it's not. Anytime you're trying to get healthier, build strength, lose weight, tone, whatever it happens to be, it's going to go like this. It's, 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 a, it's up and down. It's up and down. And sometimes it'll stay like this for a while. And then it'll go up or it'll go down. It's, it's a whole process. And we are in it for the long haul. So I wanted to share that with you, my numbers for my strength training. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I am going to be starting again. So December is kind of weird. Um, you know, a lot of people go away, holidays, that kind of thing. Oh, excuse me, it's getting late. So they're just doing what they call like a drop-in in December. Um, three times a week you can go. It's between like four to seven you just go whenever you want, you pay a drop-in fee, and you do your workout. Uh, there is a trainer there at those times, blah, blah, blah. Starting in January, we'll be starting the new session. So that will be like the winter session, um, and that'll go for, again, 12 weeks. And then after that, we'll have the spring session for 12 weeks. Then usually in the summer, they do drop-ins, and then we start into fall for 12 weeks, and then drop-ins through December, and then winter for 12 weeks. And the cycle continues, and it will continue for the rest of my life, because that's what it's going to take. Um, I have noticed an improve, uh, improvement in my strength. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm feeling good. I like it. It's still going great for me. So uh, hopefully... You know, this gives you guys maybe, uh, if you're going through this and maybe you're discouraged because the numbers aren't doing what they're supposed to, hopefully this lets you know, like, hey, it happens. Like, I gained, look, I gained. I gained around my, you know, lower chest. I gained an inch and a half, you guys. Like, the numbers aren't always going to constantly go down. And sometimes that's a good thing. It's just, it's hard to tell yourself it's okay. It's okay to gain that because maybe I've gained muscle mass. And I mean, it's really hard to know. Uh, and the numbers could change next next 12 weeks. Who knows, right? Um, but it's a process and we're in it. And uh, I thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting me and cheering me on. I really appreciate every single one of you. Uh, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.